Good morning, everybody. It is the third Sunday of Easter. Easter is such a big mystery. We need to celebrate and think about and really dwell in its mystery for six weeks. The seventh week, we celebrate Ascension Sunday, which is when Jesus ascends. So Jesus does some pretty amazing things, and they're so amazing. We really need to give special attention to them on certain Sundays of the year. So here we are. It's the third Sunday of Easter, right in the middle of celebrating Jesus' resurrection and hearing these really great stories about him and how his disciples discovered and realized he was really there alive with them again. And it got me thinking, have you ever had something so miraculous or so awesome, so great happen in your life that you thought to yourself <clears throat> or maybe said out loud, pinch me, I'm dreaming. You maybe asked someone else to pinch you or you pinched yourself and you're like, this is way too amazing. This is so awesome. This can't be real. Well, I think Jesus' disciples had something very similar happen to them when they were hiding in a room, kind of talking amongst themselves. I think maybe they were hearing stories that Jesus was alive again, but they weren't so sure. I think they were a little afraid. They were a little unsure what to do. And Jesus appeared. Jesus just showed up in that room with them behind a locked door. Nothing could stop him. And they were pretty shocked. They were pretty even terrified. Some of them were afraid. Some of them were amazed. And instead of them saying, pinch me, I'm dreaming. Is Jesus really here? Jesus said to them, touch me, feel me. Maybe he even said, pinch me. I'm real. Look at my scars on my hands and my feet. I'm actually here with you. This is my real body. I am here with you now. And so maybe some of those disciples may have been thinking something like, someone pinch me. This can't be real. But then after Jesus says, feel me, touch me, I'm actually here. You know what else he says? You have anything to eat? I'm hungry. Let's eat. That is another thing that I think is important to remember because guess what? Ghosts don't eat. Jesus is saying in a very real way, I'm hungry. That's what every human, you know, we kind of get hungry. And food is just one of those things. Sometimes it's easy to take for granted, but we really do need it to survive. So here's Jesus saying, I'm actually here with you and I do like to eat and I need to eat. And you know what else food tells us? Food is also something we have when we share hospitality, when we experience each other and we want to share our company. It's always nice to get some food out and share food together. So Jesus is saying, I'm actually here. I'm so glad to be here with you. Let's get some food and let's just be together. So I really love this story because yes, Jesus does some miraculous things. Jesus is resurrected. He's alive after three days being dead. Jesus shows up in a room that was locked and closed that they all thought they were going to be alone and safe, but he just shows up there. That's pretty miraculous. But the point of all of that is that Jesus says, I am here with you. I am actually with you. He says it literally, but, he, but mostly through his actions and his invitation to his disciples to join him in that. Heal me. Heal my body. Let's eat some food together. So it's not just about them to look and stand apart from him and go, wow, look at Jesus. He's so miraculous and glowy. It was like, no, let's do this together. Let's eat some food. Let's remember the laws and the stories of our history, or Moses and the prophets, the fulfillment in, within me. And let's go, do, let's go do this thing. Let's live my love out in the world. So think about that today. Next time you go share a meal, remember Jesus was real. And Jesus, though amazing, miraculous, did awesome things, Jesus was always showing ways that he was actually really with his disciples. And one of those things was in the food they ate, like communion. So go have some food and remember that Jesus is with you. God is with you. And let's go do this thing. Let's go share Jesus' love in the world. See you next week.